Hello and welcome to Concrete Geometric DIY Pocket. My name is Krizia and I'll be teaching you how to cast your own concrete piece using this kit. First, let's go ahead and unbox the items inside your box. A concrete bag, a small spoon for mixing colors, some mixing containers, some colors, for this I'm using green, yellow, and orange. some gloves, some room temperature water. This isn't in your kit, but you'll just need some regular oil water. Mixing sticks, a brush to seal your piece, and some sealer, which should be in your kit. It might look a little different. Some mixing cups. One is for water, and the other one is for concrete and a mask. It's really important you wear a mask during this entire project. So let's get started. I like to lay the items on the table. I'm right-handed so I keep a lot of the items I'm going to use to my right side. So make sure you open all of your pigment containers. You have your water set aside, your little spoon nearby the pigments, and so the cup with the black line goes near the water and then the cup with no line goes near the concrete, your mold, and I'm using this little cutting mat to protect the surface underneath my mold. It makes it easier for me to kind of shake the bubbles out. So let's put our gloves on and our mask. Really important to put your mask on for this. Start by adding some water into the small cup that has a black line. So you're going to want to go to that black line and then add that to your mixing container. Then choose a color you want to work with. One spoonful should be enough color for this first mix. So you want to mix that really well until you don't see any little clumps of color should take about 30 seconds to mix it. Now take your other cup and go ahead and grab a full cup of your concrete mix, like so. It doesn't have to be exact, by the way. And you can start adding it little by little into your mixing container and go ahead and start mixing. You can see the color begins to develop little by little. If you have any clumps here, you want to make sure you get all these clumps out so you can push them against the sides of the container. Now we're going to add little bits of concrete until we have the consistency of a pancake mixture, cake mixture, oatmeal is a really good example. So you want to keep going just until you get that nice thickness. Keep in mind you have about a 10 minute working time here, so try not to leave your concrete on a cup and then like run to do an errand or anything like that. So as you can see this is pretty thick. It's almost to the thickness that we want. Like so. And so I begin by adding it onto the cavity of the mold which is the deepest part of the mold. I do this because it helps with air bubbles. At the end it helps reduce the air bubbles. So you just want to get that in there. So this first mix isn't enough to fill the mold, but it's a good start. So you can continue mixing with the same color or you can choose a different color for your second pour. So I'm just going to push everything, make sure it's all into those little crevices, and then we begin to shake it a little bit more. So just kind of move it around, you'll start to see the concrete settling around, and you'll start to see some bubbles come up. So just shake gently.
You don't have to shake too much. You'll start to see that less and less bubbles will come up. So I'm just going to speed through this little shaking part. And so that's basically it. We want to continue repeating the steps, adding water to that line into your mixing bowl, and then adding concrete to that. So I like to give it a little mix around just to grab any of the leftover concrete from our last pour. It's also going to grab some of that color as well. So there's my green. I'm going to keep making a green piece for this one. And then remember a whole cup of concrete and we want to get that mixed in. If your concrete ends up feeling a little too thick, you can always just add water to that mix. Just add it in little drops and then mix around so you can kind of get it back to that oatmeal consistency. And then again, you want to shake it a little bit. You want to be really gentle at this point because the first layer of concrete that you poured is starting to set. So you don't want to shake too aggressively because it, you can run the risk of cracking your piece inside of the mold. So you want to go all the way to the top with concrete. And then I like to use my mixing stick to sort of just scrape the surface of the mold so you have a nice and smooth piece. It takes about 30 minutes for this concrete to dry so I like to test it by kind of just poking my finger on it making sure that my nails are not leaving an imprint and then you can just gently pull the sides of the mold and then pull your piece out. You can see it's Nice and smooth, has a little bit of shine to it. So if you have some rough edges, you can take a little bit of sandpaper and sand those off. Mine would be pre pretty smooth, so I'm not going to sand anymore. And then our second step is to seal your piece. So my sealer is clear, yours might be a little bit more on the milky color. So you want to wear gloves and a mask for this. You want to do it in a ventilated area as well. And you want to make sure your pets or your children are not nearby for this step. Go ahead and give it one layer of this sealer. What the sealer is going to do is going to give it a low sheen for it. So it won't be super shiny, but it won't be chalky concrete. And it's going to protect it from any water liquid that can get inside of your piece. So you can do this all around to the top and the bottom until your piece is finally sealed. And now you can see the different colors that you can mix. These are all sealed and ready to be used. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And don't forget, please share if you've made any pieces using the hashtag Concrete Geometric Kit or tag me Concrete Geometric. Until next time.